Good, so knowing that, it's pretty bad, right? It's a little bit bleak. So you might ask yourself, well, Loho, what can we do? All right, I'm Loho, by the way, that's me. And really, it's really a, a hard answer to give because it's not an easy problem. Because it's not in the mass, it's not something I can just go and debug. All right, we love bugs because we love to fix bugs, or at least we love to you know, look for the answer. And here, it's not a bug. The, the system is working as designed. All right? We don't have one fix that we can apply everywhere. And if you think that you can go into your database and say, oh, I don't want to have gender bias AI, so I'm just going to remove the gender column, that doesn't work either. Because it's not about that. And by doing that, you're introducing a new bias, which of course is going to, to affect your AI in other ways. You also cannot say, oh, you know, there is a case where uh, people of colors are treated badly by my AI, so I'm going to oversample their population, hoping to fix that. That also doesn't work because then you're putting a different AI, a different bias in your system. You're putting a bias which is, I'm oversampling people of color towards, you know, white people or, or Asian people, etc. So what you need to really do is understand that there is bias that there will be bias in your AI and think about how it affects society and understand that it's going to affect your AI in the same manner. Okay? And don't forget those are predictions that you get at the end. Those are not answers. So at the end, we need to basically go and check the prediction and say, do they even make sense? Like in the pneumonia example. You need to be fair, right? When you sample data, you need to not exclude portions of the population. Be fair to everyone. But most importantly, humans must remain able to understand the model. And that's a problem because we deal with more and more complex models. So we need to understand, and again, like in the pneumonia example, that no, asthma people are not less at risk to get pneumonia. Something is weird, okay? You need to always validate the assumptions and the results question the whole system all the time, and basically assume that something will go wrong. And then you are in a safe or relatively safe position, okay? Or at least a better position than if you didn't. We need ethics in the enterprise. That's more important than ever, all right? So you need to, when you introduce AI, don't do that because, oh, it's going to be a quick fix to a problem I have in my project. It needs to be a long uh, strategy. You need to think about it. How are we going to use it? How are we going to put checks and balances in place? How are we going to check our results? All right? And really, enable collaboration between humans and AI is that the best way to avoid issues. And we have examples, for example, in chess, we know that AI consistently beats humans these days, all right? AI has got to a level in chess that humans really have a hard time beating the AI. But however, if you put an AI versus a team, AI and human, then it's always a team AI and human who wins consistently. Because this collaboration is, you know, putting the best of humans and the best of AI, basically, together. And they are teaming up against an, an opponent who has only AI. So that's a good thing. There are other good results, for example, in cancer detection, and specifically breast cancer, where if you take a human doctor, they are going to have some results. An AI, fully automated AI, which does some image recognition, they are going to have some results. But if you put the doctor and the AI together, you can reduce the risk by 85% according to a study, okay? So this is the key to have this collaboration. What it means is that if we go back to the, the robot, robotic laws of the beginning, when you design a system, you need to design the system to earn trust, so you need to really be ethical about it, and your AI should be designed to assist humanity and not to replace humanity, okay? It's going to help, it's not going to take over. That's what it should do. You need to maximize efficiencies, obviously, that's what you want, but you need to also pay attention to not destroy dignity of people. This is most important. The gorilla example should never happen. You need to test, test, test to avoid that. Okay? You need to validate the results. You need to always make sure. You need to be transparent. It's important because if you develop a black box, people are not going to be able to challenge your results. 
Maybe they will see something is wrong, but they won't, they won't understand why, okay? So it's important that we have checks and balances, that somebody independent can check your results and say something is weird here. So be transparent about it, all right? And most importantly, you need to have accountability, which means that if there is harm, you need to be able to go back and understand where does the harm come from, how can I fix it? Sometimes it's impossible, but at least how can I minimize the impact and how can I avoid that something like that happens again, okay? Good, so if you're interested in the topic and thinking of using AI in your enterprise or already using AI in your enterprise, this is a research group at Microsoft that we have which is asking themselves questions about exactly those topics. Some very, very uh, powerful thinkers, I would say, who have really fairness, accountability, transparency and ethics at heart. And there is a great webinar that you can follow that you can register for and then you, you go through it and that's a great way to educate everybody in your enterprise. At Microsoft we think that everybody should understand the basics of AI. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. Okay, so not just software developers, but project managers, you know, personal assistants, everyone should understand those concepts. Should understand the risk behind it because we do AI. We want to do AI in a fair way. We want everybody to be able to check the AI and say something's not quite right. 